in the locker room in case you guys want to find out. I'll tell you individually. I talked to the guys about how to rip a jacket in half, and I, I did not do it properly. I started around the <laughs> collar where it's folded over so the material is twice as strong. If you really want to rip a jacket in half, start at the back at the bottom where it's already split. Uh, premise no, there. I've never tried to rip one. It's embarrassing to try the sucker and can't do it. I thought I was stronger than that, to be honest with you, but I do believe it's harder to do up there. At halftime, we spent quite a bit of time talking about we should have had the last shot of the half. Now, I may get the math wrong now, but I think we were up 11. If we get the last shot of the half, it's still 11, even if it doesn't go in. But instead, we get an offensive rebound and decide we're going to attack the basket. And we miss the shot, and Sterling gets it and dunks it. So what do they do? They go down and get three. So we lost three points to two. And I've said that forever. I swear to goodness, guys, I have looked. It is not in the Constitution of the United States that just because you get an offensive rebound means you get to shoot. And so as my answer to you is just about as daggum long as we talked about it at halftime. And so some guy who's the best playmaker, maybe the best playmaker I've ever coached, gets an offensive rebound late in the second half. And he thought, it says in the Constitution of the United States, that he had the right to shoot the ball. Not wanting to point fingers at anybody, but uh, so he shot it. He said he saw a sliver of light there and shot it and missed it. And, uh, you know, we could have run another 25 seconds because you've got to play the clock and the other team. But late game situations, we've got to be smarter than that. But uh, I told him I was trying to rip my jacket because I couldn't put my hands on him. <laughs> I thought uh, my all ACC honorable mention gave me a little leeway on that. <laughs> <laughs> I told him he was high honorable mention. <laughs> it's like the Olympics. It's all right. I don't uh, love anybody more than I love that boy, but I'll tell you what, at that moment, me and his mama both <laughs> wanted to strangle him. 